there was a point in history when the Mediterranean wasn't a sea. If you look at the map of the Mediterranean, it's this great expanse of water, but it's connected to the ocean by just this teeny, teeny, tiny little gap on the Strait of Gibraltar. There was a point in history, probably about six million years ago, when the Strait of Gibraltar, because of tectonic movement, closed up to completely seal off the Mediterranean, at which point, over the next few hundred thousand years, the Mediterranean slowly evaporated until it was an entirely dry valley. Now we know this for a few reasons. First, because um, there is evidence of this massive salt deposit um, down into the rock on the floor of the Mediterranean, but also that rivers like the Nile carved these very deep canyons into the rock that are now fully submerged under the water. Now the thing that I think is really interesting about this, okay, is that if the Mediterranean was once dry, that means that there was one day, one single day, when the plates moved again and the Strait of Gibraltar opened up and the entire ocean of water flooded into the Mediterranean basin. Uh, we know that this happened very quickly, perhaps in a matter of months or, or maybe even up to the, the course of a year. There is this enormous canyon underneath the water by the Strait of Gibraltar that demonstrates this, this insane waterfall that was there. And another one over by uh, Sicily where the, the, the depth of the seafloor dips further. This huge, huge, huge deposits of rock that kind of spilled and carved out these, these shapes. Unfortunately, this is um, a little bit too early for humans to have, to have been there to witness it. Uh, but about 5.3 million years ago, had you turned up to a rock at the edge of Spain, and looked out, you could have seen this kilometres high wall of water rushing through to fill the Mediterranean basin. Geology is cool, man. Geology does not, does not get the, the credit that it deserves.